Hoffman on The Daily Show. His new Comedy Central special is called Roy Wood Jr. No One Loves You. Well, take a look. Why do you think black superheroes only save black people? They're busy. They ain't got the time to save the rest of the world. That's a luxury that only white superheroes have. My neighborhood's great. What else is going on out here in the world? <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome Roy Wood Jr. Come on out, Roy. Man, thank y'all for having me, man. Are you kidding me? I mean this. No, I, and we're, we're happy you, you, you're you here. We're I happy to have you. I watched this special. You're a funny man. <laughs> yes, you I are. You're a funny it, man. man, and you just turned 40. So I'm curious, how did, how did you handle it? It's a big number. 40's the worst birthday. <laughs> it's, the wor it's the worst birthday, because it's the only one where people project their own insecurities onto you. Uh -huh. When you're 35, it's keep going. When you're 45, it's you look good. But when it's 40, it's like, so what's going on? How you feel about life? <laughs> <laughs> like a therapy session. It's the only birthday where everybody turns into your supervisor calling you in for an evaluation. <laughs> so how do you feel about your time here on Earth? Have you enjoyed what you've accomplished thus far? I'm like, look, man, I just want to have a little whiskey and eat some birthday cake. <laughs> I need all this life pressure. Well, talk about keeping you young. You have a two and a half year old named Henry at home. Yeah. Those, those, no, those little no. stinkers will keep you. Is he, is he good? Is he all over the place? I love my kid. I love my son. <laughs> Got to say that first. But he thinks the TV is a touch screen, and he keeps messing with my TV. The boy walks up to the TV. That's how he watch TV. Because oh, he thinks it's an iPad, so he walk up to the TV and start swiping it, trying to change the channel. <laughs> and it seems harmless, but that's what the TV looks like oh, when you turn it off. fingerprint. It's just fingerprinted with syrup fingers, and I can't be mad at him, because he sees the iPhone, he sees the iPad, that's all touch screen, so why wouldn't he think the TV is the same thing? But it's not, son. And, and if you're watching this, Stop touching your father's television. Yeah. <laughs> as long as he's not trying to swipe off of his father, he died. Yeah, yeah, he's not. Yeah, he's but you know, you're a big Miami Dolphin fan. Yeah, man. I heard you went to practice. Yeah, I, I got an invitation down there. Did you um, suit up? No, no, no. But it's no. a cool experience. No, a good friend of mine, Omar Kelly's a beat writer down there for the Dolphins, and so he, you know, connected some dots. And mm -hmm. you know, and this is my first time going to a professional football practice. And the Dolphins practice, because it's hot, they got the big dome yeah. that they practice, so they don't yeah. get no heat stroke or whatever. That was the funkiest tent I've <laughs> ever been inside of. <laughs> Football is one of the most stankiest practices <laughs> I've ever attended. That's what it dawned on you. It's 60 men sweating in a tent, no fans. Ew, ew. It's like being inside a foot. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then when the sun goes down, like later in the afternoon, they go outside for the outdoor practice. I saw Dan Marino. I was like, oh, this is my chance. This is my hero, Dan Marino. I went to speak to Dan Marino. He smelled like inside, outside. I said, I can't talk to you, Dan. <laughs> I just, I sent him a tweet. I was like, hey, man, I saw you from over there, but that breeze hit my bad. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I kind of like that smell. Because you was getting paid millions of dollars to be in it. Well, that did help. That did help. Yeah, but I always thought wrestlers smelled. Like, when you write, we walk by a wrestling room, it's got a stank to it. Yeah. I didn't know. I thought football players were supposed to be room, hot. low ceilings. That's like understandable. Cute, this was a dome. It was a dome, and it smelled like a locker That's room. Disgusting. How is I can't. Michael, you just got a little it's less a of, hot. It's a big guy. It's a lot of funk. It's a lot of funk. It's a lot of farting. Okay. I, just, I need to be around comedy where there's air conditioning. But we... <laughs> When you see, though, watching your show, you had us cracking up. Um, what does your mom think, or your parents? Are they so proud of where you are now? My mom, my mom is the funniest person I know, but my mom will tell you to your face that I'm not even in her top five favorite comedians oh. of all time. And, and so she's just being real. That's black mamas for you. <laughs> my black mama saw my last special. She just said, you ain't no Cat Williams. <laughs> But she said it with love. Come on now. <laughs> it goes Cat Williams, Ron White, Wanda Sykes, Chris Rock, 
and she likes a little bit of Jerry Seinfeld. What about Dave Chappelle or anyone? She likes Chappelle. She likes okay. her top five. Okay. That's who she likes. And then she goes, you somewhere around seven or eight. <laughs> but she was there. She's very but you supportive. Got her, you're funny from her. Yeah, I'm like still her favorite son. All I need to be is her favorite son. I don't need to be a favorite comedian. Is, is, you think she's funnier than you? Oh, my mom's way hilarious. My mom's roasting me at the, at the, the, the shirt that I was wearing at, 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 for the special. Uh -huh. Had a little rose on it. She goes, oh, that's very nice. What women's store did you get that from? <laughs> That's Didn't how my she, mama roast. My she, mama roast, she man. she said it with love. It's all with love, Didn't man. she give you a hard time about your shoes, too? Yeah, she gave me a hard time about the shoes, and, you know, because, you know, black mamas don't understand spending more than $20 for shoes. <laughs> and I go, this is television, this is HD. You need to spend at least three digits on the shoes. She said, well, then you need to put some cellophane on the bottom and take them back to the store when you're done. <laughs> I'm like, that ain't how I go, mama. But, you know, but your comedy special, No One Loves You, um, but you touch, you also touch on some serious subjects, too. Yeah, I try my best, uh, and, and that's the thing I really appreciate about Comedy Central and having an opportunity to do an hour mm -hmm. special, because you get to attack issues with the nuance that's needed. Because when you speak, especially in print and newspapers, you're in a position where your quotes can be taken the wrong way and people can assign intention yeah. to something that you yeah. said because they didn't get the full quote. But in the hour special, I get to really dive into that. And, you know, that's really what I'm trying to touch on is the fact that we live in a world now, unfortunately, where a lot of people will put their happiness before your humanity. And mm. that's something mm. that hopefully we can change, something that we can come together on because you don't ever want to be in a place like that. And we live in a world right now where people are more concerned with who you were than who you are. And it shouldn't be a surprise that we live like that. It shouldn't be a surprise that people have to take account because we always live like that as a society. Yeah. Your credit your credit history ain't nothing but financial tweets. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. That's all that is. Like, you go, you go get a job, they need a resume, they want to know whether or not you did a felony, when did you do the felony, what happened? So we've always been a society that's been obsessed with who, with who someone was, which is fine, but we also have to take equal stock with who someone is and, and who they're trying grow. to become. Yeah. People, people grow. Growing into people become something does unify us all is comedy. And you are hilarious. Correct. And we, you say no one loves you. Everybody loves you, Roy. Yeah. We love, love you, Roy. That's fine. I'll take that. And you can catch Roy's Comedy Central special, No One Loves You. It premieres tonight at 11 p.m. And his show, This Is Not Happening, returns next Friday with all new episodes on Comedy Central.